Let's go to Daytona, Florida. The 24 Hours of Daytona. It's supposed to be a race that separates the men from the boys. But this year, it was a woman who would steal the show. Her car number 11 is driven by a woman. Her name is Lynn St. James. Her impact on the sport of auto racing is evident at the start of each race. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. But once a race is underway, there's no special consideration for this woman. April of 1986, Riverside, California. Lynn St. James, the car in the middle, is hit by Doc Bundy. At 170 miles per hour, her car scales the wall. She would feel the intense heat of her car being engulfed in flames. Lynn St. James would walk away from the spectacular crash uninjured, a crash which was clearly not her fault. Nonetheless, she would now have to deal with critics, people who would say that a racetrack is no place for a woman. Solving other people's attitudes, changing other people's attitudes, is not going to help you be a better race car driver. Just worry about the things that you've got to concentrate on to be a good driver. So I, the minute I'd start to get distracted and want to go beat somebody up, <laughs> you know, or give them a speech <laughs> about how I was a woman and I was going to do it anyway, um, they would say, just forget it. It's going to waste your energy. And I'm so glad they did because it really, I've used that many times in my own mind to keep me focused on and spend my energy on the things that count, the things that you can do something about. Lynn St. James launched her racing career in 1979 in West Palm Beach, Florida. It wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Instead of ending at the finish line, Lynn St. James drove her car <laughs> into a lake. I started at the bottom of the ladder in showroom stock racing driving a Ford Pinto. I drove into a lake. There's a lot of water in Florida, and it was in the middle of this pond. And the car completely sank. And I mean, I was scared because I thought I was going to drown. I mean, this was not the way I thought I might have a danger in racing. It was not going to be drowning. It was a beginning with a lesson. It was humiliating. It was embarrassing. It was scary. It was a lot of things. But it made me think, how badly do you really want to do this? I mean, it wasn't just easy. You know, it's tough sport. And it does bring out the toughness in you, and it really makes you concentrate on just, and think to yourself, how badly do I want it? Yeah. Lynn St. James is a determined woman, willing to pay the price. She had planned to be a concert pianist. She put that career aside in favor of owning her own auto parts warehouse. She also doubles as a spokesman for the Ford Motor Company. This is what driving's all about. Lynn St. James made racing history in November of 85. She would become the first woman driver ever to exceed 200 miles per hour on an oval course. She clocked the 204 at Talladega. And this past February, Lynn St. James would combine with Bill Elliott to win the 24 Hours of Daytona. But for Lynn St. James, a few victories are not enough. What she wants more than anything is a year-end championship. Whatever series that I'm racing, I really want to win a driver championship. That shows consistency and the capability to win on a regular basis. And if I were to achieve that, then I would sit back and say, you know, I did it. Lynn St. James, more than a woman, she's a model of success and a winner on the racetrack.